Petra Kutra works, 20 slides, 20 seconds, rapid fire, don't lose interest. We're gonna get some photos with the stormtroopers later. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay. See ya. All right. That's me uh, over there in Halong Bay. So shout to the Vietnamese uh, friend. Uh, this is just to give a bit of a context of, of the meaningless of my, my existence. Um, so I'm not going to talk uh, at all about my work and what I do. Uh, I'm actually going to talk about something that upsets me. Uh, and I hope, hopefully that, that kind of you know, cuts across to you guys as well. Uh, I'm a designer, art director by, by background. And this is kind of my, my daily life. Uh, I direct work for for design and 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 stuff and I've lived in multiple places uh, that kind of gives me that cultural context and background to challenge a few things that I see uh, hopefully and hopefully I don't do it in any kind of a negative way but in a, an insightful way so you know Sao Paulo Dubai Venice uh, Houston these are some of the places I've, I've lived and I've been in Singapore for one more than one year now uh, and I've observed a lot. Uh, I, I walk around a lot. I look at stuff. I, I uh, absorb things. And one thing that really, really upsets me, there are many things that I love about Singapore. One thing that really, really upsets me is that when I say good morning to people, they don't say good morning back. <laughs> and, and, I, I can be very, you know, cultural, uh, culturally offensive here, but I think that's wrong. I mean, I just think that's wrong. And I'm going to spend the, probably the next 15 slides convincing you that that's very wrong and dangerous for all of you. So, I mean, why am I judging, you know, this guy in the morning that hasn't had his coffee yet and, and is just crampy and, has, I mean... I'm judging him because there are consequences, right? There are consequences for not saying good morning back. And I'm going to go through a few of them, right? So there are consequences to your brain, right? So this is the part of your brain that controls uh, speech. And if you don't exercise that, that tends to shrink, right? So you should exercise your ability to, to say uh, good morning. I mean... And, you know, why are people put in solitary in prison? For the same reason, because that's the, the biggest punishment a human being can ever have, not having the ability to communicate with someone. So it does affect your psychology. So uh, psychology is number one. Like, the reason number one why you should say good morning is that it affects your brain. It affects who you are. So you should do that. Uh, a lot of people walk into my condo elevator, and here they have their smartphones on, and I barely see their face. And I say good morning, and... They don't even raise their eyes. They just go like to the corner of the elevator and pretend that they don't hear me. I mean, maybe they assume that you know they don't know English or something like that. So, the second thing that really affects uh, you in, in when you don't say good morning is that there is this whole thing going on about career and the future of work and the future of collaboration and how that's very important. That's like the one crucial thing that you need to do. Uh, to get ahead when everything else is going to be taken by robots. So if you look at this guy, if he's calling you in the morning, he's doing something right. But he, he's saying good morning to you guys. So he's doing something right. But he's about to get his you know, job uh, completely. Uh, he's going to get out of the whole job market because that thing is going to be automated, right? So when you, when you move on to the third thing, why saying good morning back is very important, is that we're moving into a service-based economy, right? And service-based knowledge work is all based on good etiquette, good networking, good kind of interpersonal skills. And I mean, if you cannot say good morning back to a person, why do you expect you know, someone to be good in service? So uh, Singapore, right? Two years, three years ago, I couldn't find the right number. So 75% of Singapore is service-based now. So we need a lot more people to be really good at that thing, you know, that human interaction thing. So one more reason why you should be worried about that. And a little quote, you know, I thought that was, you know, impactful. Uh, this is all about 
uh, networking skills and communication skills. He've said that before. I think it's something important to remind ourselves that it is a skill uh, that is precedes creativity. Uh, it does wonders for relationships as well. You know, waking up and saying good morning to your partner uh, does change the whole dynamics uh, of the relationship. If you don't say that, people will assume all kinds of things. It's going to snowball into this disastrous kind of day. So just, you know, wake up and say good morning back. Uh, it's good to, uh, it's science proven, you know, so people have looked into this very deeply and they know that this is something that you should do. Uh, it is the tip of the iceberg of something much deeper, which is about, you know, kindness and, and, and being nice to others and, and considering the, the existence of the other person, right? So, uh, very interesting book as well that uh, I've read recently. So it is also the reason why our species succeeded. I mean, as, as a global species, we're one of the 20 species out there uh, that are called eusocial, right? That have the ability to use communication and collaboration to really gel up and, and conquer the world. And bees are, are other species like that. Ants are, are eusocial species like that. So it's just like a biological approach to why you should, you should kind of uh, use that, that uh, very simple, trivial thing of communication in the mornings. And, and I mean, coming down to the human race, which is what I'm trying to ask you guys to do here in this little behavior change is we're, we're communicators by nature. So whenever someone kind of bumps into you in the, uh, in the morning, in the office, in the elevator, just kind of do something very simple and acknowledge that other person just for the sake of your brains, for the sake of your career, your country, your relationships, your species. Just make sure you say good morning back, yeah? Thank you.